Yeah, we're going. All right. Mr. Cast, I'm going to show you a three-point perspective here, all right? We're going to be drawing this shape, okay? The shape we're drawing has a depth of two, a width of four, and a height of two. All right, I'll have this here for reference as I'm drawing it. So on your paper, you're going to have your horizon line across the top. You have your two vantage points, okay? Vanishing point number one, vanishing point number two. In between the two of those, straight down, you're going to put your third vanishing point. You're making basically a triangle. Above vanishing point number three, you're going to have a point. That's going to be your starting point, all right? As I start to draw this, all right, here's our one and two point perspectives, all right? I need to first start with the box. So from this point, I need to draw a straight vertical line. Our straight vertical line is the height of our object, which is a distance of two. So when I draw this line, okay, and I put this line on the page here, the length of that line is irrelevant. It's just that I know that this is going to be my distance of two. So it's just a hypothetical line that we have on our page. From there, you're going to project that up to VP1 and up to VP2, both at the bottom of it and the top of it. So I'm gonna come in here, darken these in. Once we have the box where it needs to be, we now need to go back a distance according to our shape. This has a width of four. Our width goes on the left-hand side, and our depth is gonna be on the right, which is a depth of two, one, two, all right? So when I come over here, I'm gonna come back what I feel a distance is four is. This measurement is irrelevant. It's just a random point that you're gonna put there that you feel is a distance of four. All right, now when I go to draw this line from where I'm at, I need to project that, but it's not going to be parallel to this line. It is going to come down through vanishing point number three. So I'm gonna come down here, line up the point with my vanishing point number three, sketch my line, all right? Then, this is a distance of four. So looking at it, I know from here to here is four. Now I need to go back a distance on this side, a distance of two. So basically half of that distance. I'm not gonna measure it. It's everybody's perspective, perspective drawings, everything's different. So I'm gonna come over and I'm just gonna pick a spot. Okay. I'm gonna line that point up with vanishing point number three. I haven't started drawing my shape yet. Right now I'm just setting up the construction box so I know how big that's going to be all right so i have my light line there so here's one side here's the other side from where this intersects up top here i'm going to bring that over to the opposite side vanishing point so where this one comes up and intersects i'm going to bring that over to the opposite side all right so i'm going to line up vanishing point number one bring that line across all right and then i'm going to bring this this intersects right here and bring that over to VP2. Right. So now you see your box. Here's one side, here's one side, and here's the top. We got a whole lot of light lines. Everything's nice and light so far. Next up. This distance from here to here is one of a distance of two. So what I need to do, if this is my distance of two, I need to come over half of that distance. So I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna make a mark, all right? That mark that I make gets projected down through vanishing point number three. Okay, on this side, it comes over one of a distance of four. So if this is a distance of four, I'm gonna find the midway point and then cut that in half, make another mark, okay? Once I have that mark, I'm coming down through 
vanishing point number three at the bottom. Okay, to save some time, I'm going to darken in both this and this because I know they are points. This side and this side are parts of my final shape. So I'm just going to darken those in. Okay, so there's our two sides. From here, I've already projected this point with my construction box over to there. I now need to project this over to vanishing point number two. So I'm gonna line that up, bring that across. From this point here, I'm gonna to go to the opposite vanishing point, which is vanishing point number one. So I'm gonna line that up, bring that across. We now have our top. So when we're looking at this thing, it has an L across the top of it. All right, I'm gonna come in and darken that line in so we can see it. Okay, so looking at our shape, the only thing we don't have yet is this bottom L. All right, if I come from this point, I need to go over with this one up to vanishing point number two. This one here goes up to vanishing point number one. So I'm gonna line that up. There and there. Make this nice and light. Do this one. That nice and light. Now that I have where they cross over, okay, I can go ahead and start darkening in. Okay, I would use my drafting tools and make this a little cleaner, but for time, I'm just doing this. Okay. Now, if you did everything correct, this point and this point should line up through vanishing point three at the bottom. Okay. So when I line up vanishing point number three and that top vanishing point, they should all be crossing. Okay. that same point okay and that's how you do a three-point perspective